from teleporting which can get you from buy him to buy him, to then duplicating items. Here are 10 advanced tips and tricks inside of LEGO Fortnite. Tip number one, how to duplicate any item needed to go ahead and craft a station. So for example, as you can see, an oven requires eight bright core, 15 copper bars, and 35 obsidian slabs. Now, if I go ahead and place down the oven, as you can see, it is placed, and there is nothing in my inventory apart from the pickaxe. Now, if I then go ahead and destroy the oven that I have just placed down, you want to go ahead and pick up every single material that it drops very quickly, back out, return to the lobby, then instantly load back into the game. Now, as you can see, once I load up, the oven should still be there. As you can see, it is. And not only that, if I go ahead and open up my inventory, as you can see, I've now got 35 obsidian slabs, eight bright core, and 15 copper bars, which is obviously the ingredients used to create the oven. Now, you can actually do this with any single one of the stations so for example the loom as you can see to craft it there's an ingredients list on the side flex wood flex wood rods and sand claws now you can actually go ahead and duplicate these items which is going to be super useful in lego fortnite survival tip number two you can actually instantly eliminate any roller inside of lego fortnite by making it go into water as you can see it instantly dies and drops the sand shells now the same applies for a brew if you make it go into water as you can see it instantly dies tip number Number three, you can actually go ahead and walk up to any animal, pet it, and it will poo you out something very nice. Same applies for chickens along with cows. Tip number four, if you go ahead and open up your craft menu, go across to utility and make yourself a juicer, which requires eight planks, eight marble, and five knot root rods. You can then use the juicer to create yourself snowberry shakes, which actually gives you an extra 12 hearts for 10 minutes. Tip number five, if you go ahead and get yourself a crafting bench tier three, you can actually craft yourself a glider out of eight flexwood rods, four wool fabric, and six silk fabric. Once you have then crafted yourself a glider, make sure you actually equip it and put it in your equipment tab. Then go ahead and build up really high or get to a mountain and then just jump. And just like that, you can now glide to another biome. Tip number six, if you make your way across to a snowy biome just like this and then find a cave, which looks like a massive boulder, then go ahead and enter it, hold a torch out and look for this exact chest spawn like this which spawns on top of a rock. You can actually use this chest to get infinite items. So go ahead and open the chest and as you can see I've got nothing in my inventory apart from the one torch. So go ahead and take out exactly what you would like from the chest and then simply just walk away until it despawns just like that. Then simply walk back up to the chest and as you can see it will reappear with completely different loot. Now as I said you can infinitely do this and you can get unlimited items here inside of Lego Fortnite. As you can see, I go back up to the chest and there is now completely different loot again. Tip number seven, to avoid fall damage before falling and touching the ground, use your pickaxe and just like that, it reduces the fall damage. Tip number eight, if you see a massive rainbow in the sky, make your way across there and you will actually see these rainbow Lego figures just like this. Now, once you guys actually go up to it and do an emote, they will in fact drop you some very good loot, which is definitely useful in Fortnite LEGO survival. Tip number nine, if you get yourself a crafting bench, you can actually craft yourself a health charm, which gives you more hearts. Now, obviously the higher tier crafting benches will allow you to go ahead and craft a lot better health charms to give you even more health. There's even cool headed charms, which will increase resistance to hot temperatures along with inner fire charm, which increases resistance to cold temperatures. Tip number 10, as as you can see it is currently raining and it is getting dark in my world now this is super hard in survival because mobs will spawn and you cannot get across the map so simply just return to the lobby then just load straight back into your game and just like that as you can see it spawns in as daytime hopefully today's video did help you if it did then please be sure to leave a like subscribe with post notifications on and leave a comment down below